Okay, so I'm going to try this again. I've been having a little bit of difficulty here with my uh, my, uh, my video, uh, but the uh, this is to demonstrate the rate of diffusion between uh, uh, two different gases, which is an illustration of Graham's law. I have some hydrochloric acid, even though it appears to be a liquid. There's actually some of it evaporated in there. So if I took off the cork and I took a whiff, it would burn my nose because some of it would go in my nose. And the same way, this is uh, this is ammonia, and it looks like a liquid, but there's actually ammonia gas in here. So if I took off the lid and put my nose there, it would uh, be a very piercing odor. Uh, my eyes would fly open, my head would fly back. As a matter of fact, ammonia is used for smelling salts to rouse people who have uh, passed out or been rendered unconscious. Anyway, I'm going to let these gases out of here. The interesting thing is where the gases meet, where ammonia meets uh, hydrogen chloride, a new product is formed, ammonium chloride, which can be seen. It's a white solid. So uh, that reaction, it can be classified as one of the five types. Ammonia plus hydrochloric acid makes ammonium chloride is what type of reaction? Yes, if you said synthesis, you're right. Anyway, we can see the white solid. We'll see it as a white smoke, okay? And we want to observe where the white smoke is. The white smoke is little particles of solid suspended in air. Okay, so let's take a look and see what happens. See the white smoke? It's mainly above the hydrochloric acid bottle. And there's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. Uh, the reason is that the ammonia, being a lighter molecule, weighing only 17 grams per mole, moves faster at the same temperature than the hydrochloric acid, which weighs 36. So this kind of moves out of here and meets this here uh, right above the bottle. And uh, that can be expressed mathematically, that rate of diffusion or effusion by using Graham's law which is the rate of diffusion or effusion is equal to the inverse square root of the molar masses. You don't have to do the calculation, but you should, you should be able to predict which gas will diffuse or effuse faster by using the molar masses.